The Democratic Party is officially considering whether or not they should continue the use of superdelegates in their presidential nomination process for the actual Democratic Party. Now, recently, the uh, uh, Democratic uh, Unity Reform Committee had proposed reducing the number of superdelegates there are from about 700 uh, down to maybe about 300, 350. They want to reduce the number by about 60% to try to make it seem a little bit more fair in the nominating process. Well, now one proposal has come forward that we just simply do away with all of the super delegates within the Democratic Party and we actually hand this election back over to the people of the United States. And while this is a phenomenal idea for the Democratic Party, as we would expect, some corporate Democrats, some establishment Democrats, are pissed off about the thought that they might not get to vote twice for the presidential nominee for the Democratic Party. Uh, DNC member Bob Holland from the state of Cal uh, Mulholland, excuse me, from the state of California, said that this is absurd. This would mean that people like Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter and Barack Obama don't even get to vote for who's going to be our party's nominee. Well, that's actually a lie, Mr. Mulholland, because they do get to vote. They get to vote in the primary, just like the rest of the people in this country. So how is it fair for them to be able to go vote in a primary and then go be a super delegate and cast a second vote for our nominee? That seems a little unfair to me, right? I mean, one person, one vote, not one super delegate, two votes but that's the system that you want because it's the system that makes you comfortable. It's the system that prevents an outsider, a true progressive from ever taking over the democratic party. That's what the superdelegate system is all about. They want to make sure that those party insiders, the former presidents, the elected members of Congress, that they get the final say that they have just enough power within the democratic party to sway who gets the nomination. That's what this is about. And that's what terrifies people like Mulholland. They don't want to think about the fact that God forbid the people who are members of the democratic party actually get to pick their own nominee. No, we need to leave that decision to the old white guys who are running the democratic party, right? That's what they want. Well, guess what? Time's up for you. Time's up for the old guard of the democratic party. Time's up for the super delegates. It's time that the Democratic Party gets handed back over to the people who call themselves and who are registered as Democrats in this country. It's time for them to make the decisions about who gets to be the nominee. Superdelegates should have no voice. The superdelegates shouldn't be a thing. Superdelegates never should have been a thing. If you can't trust the people who are registered members of your party, then you don't deserve to be running a party at all. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.